Hi Leo, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. Let's go ahead and take a look at your energy reading for June 2023. What is coming your way for this new month of June 2023? Okay, well look what we have here. <laughs> we have your Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. The Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the fool so this is just your top opening energies let's take a look at the next row this is my new favorite spread for my regular viewers you guys know this is what i like to call my onion my onion spread because there's multiple layers that we're going to be peeling back and how they're going to be cross-referencing each other wow 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 look at this Double Wheel of Fortune for you, Leo. I'm excited for this message. Okay, let's see. Double Fool, what is going on? We're seeing just doubles everywhere. Okay, let's see what's here in your third row. Let's take, and then we're gonna also take a look at your Oracle, your Oracle cards. Let's try again here for Leo. I'm gonna get this top. Let me push this over. Okay. Leo for June 2023. What's going on for Leo? Okay. I'm excited for that Ace of Pentacles because this is representing um, abundant energy. Oh my gosh. You're, we already have like triple breakthroughs. Double Empress, double fold, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let me just soak this in and take a look. Ace of Pentacles, financial gain. This is success. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. So in June, Leo, some of you are going to see a financial turnaround. Okay. You're going to come across financial gain, a bonus. Uh, something is going to be given to you where it, there's going to be a come up. You're coming up. Okay. Your life is going to be easier or a particular goal or challenge that you're faced with is going to be, um, fulfilled with something being given to you that's going to help you find a way or a solution the ace of pentacles while it does tap into financial gain and money prosperity abundance this also taps into earthly tangible um like energy so like you are going to be receiving something you're receiving a proposal you're receiving a gift you're receiving something better for yourself when i see the eight the eight of cups paired here with your wheel of fortune this is showing like you're coming out of a slump or you're coming out of some type of hardship and moving towards greenery you know again growth prosperity because if you look closely here uh leo we see the water the water is dr like running dry Okay, it's evaporating. It's <laughs> moving in a different distance, a different area. These cups are also empty. So as you continue to walk through your journey, where you are being led to go or what you're coming across, we see greenery, we see growth, prosperity. Okay, it's like you are coming across better. So there's a better situation, a better opportunity, a better way for a lot of you in this new month of June, 2023. Now it's interesting because we look at this wheel of fortune and right below it, we have the four of cups, which is diagonal from the eight. So four plus four is equaling eight. And then right below here, we have the eight of wands. So a lot of high driven ambition and goals are going to be servicing for a lot of you Leos. Also, I see that some of you are like not settling for something that you know is not your particular thing. You're not going to settle for just anything. You know, why would you take the four of cups when you can have the eight, but you don't even want the eight. It's like you want the 10 of cups. So there's something here that you're experiencing where something is being given or pushed on to you that you're realizing or that you understand that that's not you or that's not your desire. That's not your cup of tea. Those aren't your goals, your dreams. That's not your, your taste anymore. That's not your type. And you're like, no, I don't want that. I want something bigger and better for myself. And with that, 
you are going to seek the change or the success, the happiness, like you are seeking that yourself. Like you are going to be the one spinning your wheel here, Leo. It's interesting here because I also see the eight of wands diagonal from the hermit and the hermit holds the wand showing that they have, they are holding like their passion, their vision, their creative energy, their potential with them on this, uh, on this journey. Some of you Leos, I do see that you're isolated, isolated due to the way there's, there's two energies of isolation that I see here. Some of you, Leo, are isolated in a way where the way you think or the way that you live is not traditional. It, this could also be the way you think or like a, a, a position that you carry, what you do for work, what you're studying. It's different because I see you alone on this path. You're alone as a, you're the only one in your social group. You're the only one in your family. You're the only one maybe, um, in your, you know, peer group that is going down this route, but this is what makes you happy. And you know what they say? Success is the loneliest path. Um, not everyone has a drive. Not everyone has the patience, the, t the determination, the courage. Okay. The vision. So a lot of you are holding this vision and you're like, I know what I want. And there's also this energy. Some of you Leo's you're cutting out distractions because you're tapping into your, your peace in June. You're tapping into your happiness. What's going to fulfill you. What's going to bring you peace and happiness, um, getting away, you know, separating yourself from things that clutter your mind or that stress you out. So you could be just taking a nice lonely walk, traveling by yourself, taking partaking in hobbies by yourself. Mm. The Queen of Cups, I see her also as like a therapist. So seeking help, okay? But maybe not telling people that you're seeking help or seeking mentorship or guidance. Okay, when I look, the Knight of Swords, the Fool, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Swords, this is mentally getting over or moving past a challenge that may have kept you stuck for a while. The Five of Cups, this is an energy of being stuck, being saddened, being disappointed, um, grieving. The Five of Cups represents you saddened by a situation that you thought was going to be in your life or in your path. But this is a reminder not to be too stuck on these cups here, Leo, because what is coming, you're going to receive more cups, okay? Your cup is going to get full again. You are going to feel love, joy, happiness again. You're going to feel that burning, you know, passion, desire again. So in June, some of you are experiencing a mental turnaround. The, your perspective or your outlook in life is going to change. Your outlook in a particular challenge that you're faced with, you're going to see a solution. You're going to research. You're going to ask questions. Okay. This, it's like clear headedness. You're, you're, there's clarity coming through for you where you're like, Oh, I can see, I can see the light on the other side. I can see that there is an opening here for me to go through and explore the double, um, the double, okay, the double fool, because we have the fool, the fool, and then we have like the empress and the empress. Leo, this is just the beginning. Something is going to happen where it's going to be a surprise, but this surprise is going to be an abundant blessing or opportunity. So look out for this sign in June, okay? Mm. What's interesting about the fool and the empress, double empress, is that you may be expecting a particular outcome, but the outcome that you're going to come across may look different than what you were expecting, or it's also going to come at a time that you thought was going to appear at a later date, but it's coming sooner. Also, your uh, this path, 
Some of you Leos are going down a path that you've never done before or it's new or foreign to you. But once you're on that path, you're going to keep going because you're seeing that this is going to fulfill you on a deeper level. You're going to see that there are situations that will present themselves that will confirm to keep on it. Okay. You're going to see people appearing in your life. You're going to see circumstances arising, opportunities that are going to flow in, you know, abundance, happiness. Like the Empress represents all of the, the positive energy when it comes to growth, success, abundance. She also it represents being open, being open-minded for opportunities in, so, in situations that you may have not considered, but that you maybe should consider because you never know where it could take you or that you, where it could lead you. So I am just loving all of these positive changes for you. I mean, double wheel of fortune. Let's take a look here. Double wheel of fortune. Okay, we have the fool. We have the, the double, the empress. And also on top of that, we have the ace of pentacles. So June, Leo, is a very, very prosperous month for you, not only in the earthly sense, but also when it comes to chapters opening up in your life, new paths being paved here for you and you doing something also outside of your comfort zone the wheel of fortune this is also literally like the wheel spinning so with that wheel spinning it's putting you in a different environment in different locations meeting different people coming across creative different creative endeavors uh, which will lead to something that will give you that security or that comfort that will then lock you into something more, um, more for you to gain. So I'm excited to see what the remaining of, you know, the summer has end of June moving into July. But I have a feeling that a lot of you Leos are going to be busy with changes coming in your way, not only positive changes, but some of you are already in a path of change and it's growing. Okay. It's getting bigger. It's getting more promising. You're starting to feel the effects of it. It's like once that seed in your garden grows, everything else, all the other bundles are starting to like pop up at the same time. And that's what I see here for you. It's like one thing after another, after another, after another. And once this wheel is starts spinning, Leo, you're going to see in June, like everything else is just going to come together. Everything is just going to come together here, especially when we see this eight of uh, wands. This is rapid change. The eight of wands is showing um, quick movement. So again, things are going to come quicker than what you had expected. You're just on your leisurely stroll and then boom, something happens. But let's take a look at your Oracle cards, Leo. Let's see. Oh, some of these already fell. Let's see. Ooh, explore is coming in. It's giving me the fool vibes too, because being open, you know, to explore, go on an adventure. Uh, some of you are going to experience some trip or travel. And then we see awaken coming in here. Wow. All of this bright light, this almost looks like the pentacle energy, but if you look at, you know, I just realized the, the wheels, look, we have two, these two yellow and then the wheel of fortunes yellow. Uh, and if you look closely here, look at the, the fool on his outfit he has these gold spears here spheres so there's like coin it's giving me like coin money okay and it's showing like movement so your life your cycle is it's in a new direction for you there's positivity we see the sun the sun represents positive changes it represents warmth some of you are getting away to a, a warmer area you're possibly traveling to like a new place that you've never been before, but there you're going to gain a lot of inspiration or feel uh, re-energized. That's the word too, like re-energized. Especially earlier when we see uh, the four of swords, the hermit and the eight of wands, it's like you are recharging your batteries. You're feeling like renewed. So let's see, let's see. Leo, what's going on? Let's see, what else does Leo need to know for June, 2023? Leo, Leo, let me, let me. I always like to see if there's any jumpers that want to come out before I do my intuitive pull. But it looks like I'm going to do my intuitive pull, Leo. Oh, okay. So, let's 
So, all right. So right here, the first surrender to the divine full moon. I feel like there's a Pisces. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces in your life or you have a Pisces in your chart because it's giving like Pisces vibes here or water vibes. Yep. Oh, a four. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone. That's exactly what we see here with a double fool. Leo, do it. Go after it. Take that leap of faith. That's also what the fool represents. The energy is gaining momentum. That's crazy because that's what I was showing here. Like with the spear, it reminds me of like a ball too. Like the ball is rolling. You know that expression? It's like, get the ball rolling. And once it's rolling, whew, it's like everything is going to happen quickly after that, especially with this knight of swords. Uh, some of you Leos are going to come across ideas and you're just like, wow, this is it. This is what I should be doing. This is where I should be going. This is a great idea for me to kind of like capitalize on or pursue. And then adjustments are required. Oh, was that it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adjustments are required. Interesting because that's what was showing here with the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. You know, you not settling or adjusting or taking on something that you know is not your preference or not your style or your cup of tea and leaving certain energies or situations that you know is not fulfilling. So adjustments definitely are required to go after what it is that you truly, truly want, even if it means you are the only one on that path, Leo. So very exciting for this new month. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more. And until then, stay well and be blessed.